Hello everyone, this is Troy from TroyPoint.com and in this tutorial I will show you how to increase the size of the internal storage on your Fire TV Stick 4K so you can load more applications onto it. Now the biggest complaint that we see regarding this device is its lack of internal storage which only amounts to approximately 5 gigabytes once Fire OS and the other default apps are added by Amazon. As of this recording, this process does not work on the first or second generation Fire TV sticks. Before we get started, I do want to note that I have also created a post on the Troy Point site where I have provided a written version of this tutorial with screenshots. The link for that and everything else that I mentioned in this video can be found in the video description below. To complete this tutorial, you will need a Fire TV Stick 4K, USB flash drive, OTG cable, and the remote ADB Shell app, which I will show you how to install shortly. The OTG cable that I'm using costs approximately $3, and you can pick up a quality 64 gigabyte SanDisk USB flash drive for around $10. I have tested quite a few flash drives and found the most success with the SanDisk 3.0 drives, but I would suggest trying this with a drive that you have already purchased. Some of my USB 2.0 drives did work just fine. Now, prior to this video, I reset my Fire Stick to factory default settings, and you will see the reason for this later in the tutorial. The only applications that I've installed so far are Downloader and the free TroyPoint application with the Rapid App Installer. Now, you can get my free TroyPoint app via link in the video description if you don't already have it. If you're going to be following along, I highly suggest clicking the pause button between each step so you can keep up. A huge thanks goes out to the guys and gals over at the XDA forums for coming up with this process. The first thing that we need to do is connect the USB flash drive to the Amazon Fire TV Stick 4K with the OTG cable. Now, this is a simple process and you will see how this all comes together in this image here. Now I'm going to move over to my Fire TV Stick 4K and get started. Okay, you will see that I am on the home screen of my Fire TV Stick 4K, and what I'm going to do is move over to settings, move down, click my Fire TV, and I'm gonna click the About button. And there's a couple things we're gonna do in here. The first thing is I'm going to hover over Network. And on the right-hand side, you're going to see that my IP address ends in 169. I'm going to write that down. Yours will probably be different. This is the address that your router assigns to your device. Next, I'm going to move down and click Check for Updates. We want to make sure that we are using the latest version of Fire OS. Go ahead and install any updates that may be needed. And if you did update, I suggest coming back in here after it's updated and keep going through that process until there are no more updates available. I'm going to go back to the previous screen and now I'm going to go down and go into developer options. You want to make sure that ADB debugging is on and so is apps from unknown sources. And to turn these on, simply highlight them, click the OK button on your remote and that will turn them on. Now after I do that, I'm going to go back to the home screen. Now if you don't already have Downloader installed on your device, all you have to do is hover over the search icon, type in Downloader. After you type in the first few letters, you will see it appear in the list. Highlight it, click the OK button on your remote. It should show up under the Apps and Games category. Go ahead and highlight it, click it, and it will install. Now when you do this, make sure that you click the allow button that pops up when you first open the application. All right, now we're going to install the remote ADB shell application. And to do that, you will notice the cursor is blinking in the address box. I'm going to click the OK button on my remote, click clear, and the address I'm going to type in is troypoint.com forward slash RADB. For those of you who have my TroyPoint app installed, you can quickly install this through the Rapid App Installer as well. Prior to clicking the Go button, double check that you've spelled everything properly. 
Once you do that, click Go. Click Install. I'm going to click the Done button. And the reason for that is I do want to clean up this APK file. We no longer need that. So I'm going to click Delete. And then click Delete again. Okay, we are done with the downloader application. So we can go ahead and exit out of that by clicking the Back button a few times. I'm going to go back to the Home screen. Okay, now I'm going to move down. Come under Apps and Channels. Move all the way to the right. Click See All. I'm going to highlight the application, click the OK button to launch it. You will get this message here, click OK. And now we are on the home screen. You will see that the cursor is blinking in the IP address box. Go ahead and click the OK button on your remote. And now we want to type in the IP address that we found in the previous step. You're going to go ahead and type that into this box. After you type in your IP address, click the Next button, and you can leave this box as is and click Next again. Now I'm going to click Connect. Feel free to click the check box that says Always Allow from this computer. Click OK. And you will see that it has connected, and we are now at the command prompt. Now the first thing we need to do is determine the name of the disk, or the name of the USB drive. And to do that, all I'm going to do is click the OK button on my remote. That's going to open the keyboard. And I'm going to type in SM space list dash disks. After I type that in, I'm going to move down and click the run button. And you will see in the background that it lists the disk. And this disk is named 8 comma 0. If I click the back button on my remote, you will see that we get rid of the keyboard so it's easier to read. So just make sure you take note of the name of your disk. I'm going to click the down arrow on my remote to put the cursor back in the line. Click the OK button to open the keyboard again. And now you need to decide how you would like to format your USB flash drive. There are two options that you can choose from. Now the first option will create two equal size partitions on your drive. In my situation, I'm using a 256 gigabyte SanDisk 3.0 flash drive, and it will be split into two partitions with 128 gigabytes on each. Now, one partition will be used for running applications, which will be considered the internal storage, and the other may be used for storing various files, and that would be considered external storage. Now, I prefer this option, and here's why. This option allows me to load movies and TV shows from my computer onto the storage partition, and then I can play those media files through Kodi or another media player on the Fire TV Stick 4K. I can also download media through various APKs on my Fire Stick and then transfer them to the storage partition through my File Explorer for later access, which I will show you how to do shortly. Now, this is a great option when traveling if you don't have internet access. Also, it's great for those of you who have buffering problems to where you can download a movie or TV show and put it on that available storage for playback later. Now, if you choose option two, this will format your entire disk as internal storage, and you won't have the ability to store or access media files as you would through external storage. This will be exclusively used for installing applications onto. So in this tutorial, I am going to use the first option. So you will see I've typed in the command and where you see the disk name 8 comma 0. Yours might be different and that's where you would input that. After you've typed all this in, go ahead and click the run button. And you may notice bottom right hand corner that the USB drive disconnects and then reconnects. I suggest giving it a few seconds just to see if that does happen on your device. After you see that, move down, put the cursor in the command line, click the OK button to open the keyboard again, and now we're going to issue it a command to ensure that the partitions were created properly. And that command is DF space minus H. 
click run. So now we basically have three different partitions on the Fire TV Stick 4K. You'll see the first one listed there is dev forward slash fuse. We have 3.7 gigabytes available of storage, and that's the onboard storage of the Fire TV Stick 4K. The next one ends with DM-2, and this is the partition that we will be installing the applications onto. This is where the applications will be running from, and you will see we have 113 gigabytes available for that partition. And then the last one is forward slash fuse, and this is our storage partition where we will be able to drop movies and TV shows and other files that we may want to access on the Fire TV Stick. 4K, or you can just use it for other items on your computer or other media devices. So in theory, every application that we install from here on out should be stored on the DM-2 partition of the USB drive. But unfortunately, that's not the case. After I went through this process the first time, I noticed that many of the apps that I installed through Amazon App Store didn't run from the USB drive. Now let me show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to go back to the home screen and I'm going to install three different applications. I'm going to install IPVanish, Philo, and Disney+. Plus. All right, I finished installing those three applications. I'm going to go back to my home screen. I'm going to go into Settings, Applications, Manage Installed Applications. And you're going to notice that there's only one application that we installed that has the USB icon behind it. Philo shows as it is installed on the USB drive. However, the other two, IPVanish and Disney Plus, are not. And here is the reason for this. If the application developer doesn't declare support for running off an external storage device, it will default to internal storage. So basically, the developers of these applications that did not install onto the USB drive did not put that line of code into the application that allows for this. The good news is that all applications that we sideload will be installed by default onto the USB drive. Now these are the apps that aren't available in the Amazon App Store that we install through Downloader or the Troy Point app. Now, thankfully, we can issue a command through Remote ADB Shell app to move applications over to the USB drive, and I'm going to show you how you can do that. But one thing I do want to note is that there are some applications that I do want running off the actual internal storage of the Fire TV Stick 4K, and one of those would be IP Vanish. I would never move this over to the USB drive due to the fact that I use this on a regular basis. And if there's other applications that require quite a bit of processing power, I would probably leave those as well on the actual internal storage of the Fire Stick. So let's go ahead and move Disney Plus over to the USB drive by using our ADB Shell app. So I'm going to go back to the home screen, launch Remote ADB Shell. I'm going to move down, click the down arrow a bunch of times, until it's blinking in the box, I'm going to click the OK button on the remote. Now the first thing I need to do is determine the Android package name for Disney+. Plus. And we can easily get that by typing in the following command. PM space list space packages. Click run. I'm going to click the back button on my remote so we can get to the screen here. You can use your up and down arrows on your remote to go through here. Now, we're looking for one of these lines that shows reference to Disney+. Plus. And you'll see there, it's about three quarters of the way down. It's called com.disney.disney+. Plus. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down. I'm going to move back down to the command line. I'm going to issue the same command that we used earlier. Because now we need to determine the name of the USB drive disk. And that command is df space minus h. Again, we used this earlier. Now here's something else you can do is when your cursor is blinking in that box, 
you can long press the OK button on your remote for a few seconds. And then you can choose one of these commands that you have previously used so you don't have to type everything in again. Come down and click Run. And you will see there behind the DM-2 entry, we're looking at all the information to the right of the Expand folder. Starts with 04827. That's the name of the disk. So now that we have the name of the Android package and the name of the disk, we can go ahead and move this over to the external storage device. I'm going to move down, click the OK button on the remote again, and now I'm going to type in the move package command. So I've completed typing in this long command. I'm going to click the back button on my remote so you can see exactly what I typed in. PM space move dash package. And then I put in the name of the Android app that we're moving over to the external storage, which is com.disney.disney+, which we got from that previous command. And then after that, I'm putting in the ID of the disk. And it's important to note the location of the spaces. You'll see a space between PM and move. You're going to see a space between package and com. And then you're going to see a space between Disney Plus and then the start of the ID for the USB drive. And unfortunately, as you can guess, one wrong character, and this is not going to work properly. I'm going to go back in, move down and click Run. And you will see a success message. Now, if it didn't work properly, you will see a failed message. And then you'll want to go through and type everything in again. More than likely, there was a typo somewhere. Okay, let's go back to the home screen and make sure that this did work. Go into Applications, Manage Installed Applications. And you can see that Disney Plus is now on the USB storage because of the icon behind it. Go ahead and launch it to make sure it's working properly. And you will see that it is. I'm going to go ahead and back out of this. Now let's put this storage to the test. I'm going to fire up the Rapid App Installer inside the Troy Point app and install a ton of applications. And we will see what happens. First, what I'm going to do is go into My Fire TV about and just take note of the amount of storage we currently have which is 3.18 gigabytes. Now this shouldn't change due to the fact that these applications that I'm going to install next should all be placed onto the USB drive. So I'm gonna go back to the home screen. Okay, I'm going to move down and launch the Troy Point app, go into the Rapid App Installer, and you will see we have approximately 40 different applications that can be installed through this very quickly. You can click the down arrows for each one of these, and they will download at the same time. And then once the downloads are finished, you just come through here and click the play button and each one of them will install. So I'm going to take this time right now to go through and install a ton of applications and then we'll come back and we'll see how everything performs. All right, guys, I installed 25 applications. Now, when you do this, you got to remember whether you're doing this through the Troy Point app or through Downloader, you're still downloading the installation files to your local storage. Those are not going on to the USB drive. So in the Troy Point app, we can easily just move up and click the trash icon to get rid of all those. Click agree. And that should have deleted all those installation files off the local storage. Now let's go back to the home screen. I'm going to exit out of the Troy Point app. Let's go into settings, back to applications, manage installed applications. And now you're going to see all the applications that we've installed. And they have the USB icon behind them. So all of these are running from the USB drive. There's no way we would have been able to install all of these onto a Fire TV Stick 4K due to its limited storage without this USB 
hack. Now I'm going to go back. Let's go into storage. Three point zero eight gigabytes. So we still have most of our storage intact that we had prior to going through that process of installing all those applications. Now let's talk a little bit about downloading movies and TV shows through these various applications. I'm going to go back to the home screen. Okay, I'm going to hold down on the home button of my remote for a few seconds. We're just going to go to the apps screen that shows all of our applications and the application that I'm going to use as an example is Cat Mouse due to the fact that I know that this one does allow you to download movies and TV shows to the hard drive. Now the first thing many people want to do is change the download directory to the USB partition that we just created for storage. And I have tried this on many applications and it has never worked properly. And you'll see here in this app, if we scroll all the way towards the bottom, media download path. So this is the path on the local storage where anything that you download through this application is saved to. Yes, you can go in here and move up several folders and you'll see here this is our partition for storage. However, when you choose this and then you go in and you try to save something, the applications usually crash. I've never gotten this to work. So what I do is just leave it as is, download my movie or TV show to the local storage on the Fire TV stick, and then I take a file explorer and I transfer that file over to the storage, to the external storage. And if you remember, we have approximately three gigabytes left as far as storage on the local hard drive, so you can't download anything larger than that. Now the good news is most 1080p movies are usually around 1 or 1.5 gigs, so this should work fairly well. So as an example, I'm going to go ahead and download the public domain movie Night of the Living Dead for an example, and I'll show you how I would go about doing this. And the one that I want is the first one in the list, which is the 1968 release. We're going to wait for the links to show up here on the screen. Now, before we do this, I do want to note that I have not found downloading through these APKs very reliable. I suggest downloading on your computer, popping the movie or TV show onto the USB drive, and you can use what we've just created because there is a storage folder on there, and then plug that back into your stick and go that route. And again, I will show that as well after we go through this process. So I'm going to move down and just choose one of these HQ files. We'll do this one here. It's not as big. It'll be a quicker download. So usually when you click these links, for the ones that do allow you to download, you're going to get a menu like this, and then you just click the download button. And again, this is downloading to the local storage on the Fire TV Stick 4K to that folder we looked at earlier. Now if you go back... You're going to notice in most of these applications, if you go to the menu, there is a downloads folder. And you'll see there at the top, we have in progress, and then we have finished. So we'll go ahead and let this download and come back, and I'm going to show you how we can then transfer that over to the USB drive. Okay, you will see that the file is no longer showing on this screen. That means it's finished, and you will see here under the finish tab. Now, we're going to move this over to the USB drive. I'm going to go to the home screen, and now it's time to install a file manager. And the one that I'm going to use is called Total Commander. I'm going to move down, highlight it, click the OK button, and go ahead and install it. Let's go ahead and open it, click Allow, and you're going to see our USB storage partition here, second down on the list. So this is where we want to drop the movie that we just downloaded. I'm going to go back, and now I'm going to go down into the downloaded files folder, because that's where we know the movie was stored. And again, this is on the internal storage. So now what I'm going to do is highlight the movie. I'm going to hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds, and that's going to give me this menu here. I'm going to come down and click Send To. 
Now it's asking where we want to put the file. I'm going to choose the top option because I want to put it in a different folder. Click Total Commander, come down here, choose our storage partition on the USB drive, and I'm just going to go ahead and paste it right into the root level of this folder. Move over to the right, and then click the OK button. Go ahead and click Allow, and you will see the message that shows that the file has been saved. Now we're back to the previous screen. You'll see there at the top, storage forward slash emulated forward slash zero forward slash download. I can go ahead now and delete this file off the internal storage. But before I do that, I want to ensure that it did actually paste into the USB storage. And just move over to the right side here, click our storage partition, and you will see that it indeed did. So now I'm going to move over to the left side again, long press the OK button on my remote, and then click delete. Click yes, and now we have successfully moved that file over to the USB drive. Now one last thing I do want to leave you with is how we can load up this USB drive on the computer and then bring it back over and plug it back into the Fire TV Stick 4K. Now keep in mind when you disconnect the USB drive from the Fire TV Stick 4K, the applications that you've installed onto the USB storage will obviously no longer work until you plug it back in. All right, let's take the USB drive and move over to my Windows 10 PC. All right guys, I've plugged the USB drive into my Windows 10 PC and now I'm going to move some movies over to it. First, I want to show you the partitions that the ADB command created that we performed earlier. You're gonna see here towards the bottom left of the screen, we have a G drive, H drive, and an I drive. Now the G drive is where we are currently at, and you'll see that this is the storage partition, and Night of the Living Dead movie is on there, which we transferred earlier. Now the command also created an H partition, which just looks like a small temporary folder. It's only approximately 15 megabytes large in size. And then the iDrive, this is what we store our applications on. This is where the applications run from. And as you can see, this partition is not recognized by Windows due to the fact it's in a format that only the Android operating system recognizes. Okay, I'm going to go into my movies folder that's on my PC, and you're going to see I have 10 movies here, and these are all movies that were ripped from a Blu-ray disc that I purchased in the past and converted to digital format. So I'm just going to go ahead and select all of these, copy, go back into my G drive, and I'm going to paste these onto my USB flash drive. And then once this copying has completed, we're going to unplug this, plug it back into the Fire TV Stick 4K, and I'm going to show you a few more things. Okay, you will see that the movies have copied over. I'm going to move down to the right side of the screen and eject the drive. Now I'm going to plug it back into the OTG cable connected to the Fire TV Stick 4K. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and plug my USB drive back into the OTG cable. And you'll see bottom right-hand corner, it has identified the drive. I'm going to go to my apps screen. Now, this is one thing you might see when you go through this process after you plug your USB drive back in. I'm going to go ahead and restart my Fire TV Stick 4K by holding down on the OK button and the plague button for a few seconds. We're going to reboot this and then see if that fixes the problem with these icons. All right, guys, I have restarted my Fire TV Stick 4K. And when I did that, there were still a few icons missing off of our apps screen here when I rebooted. And what I did to display those again is go into settings my account, and then I clicked Sync Amazon Content. And once I did that and I returned back to my apps screen, they were all showing properly.
So a restart might not be necessary. Just go in and sync your content. All right, I'm going to go ahead and open Total Commander again. Okay, I'm in Total Commander. One way that we can play those movies is by simply moving over to the right side, going into our storage partition. You're going to see all the movies listed here. And then when we click one of these movies, you're going to notice it gives us the opportunity to open with one of the video players that we've already installed on the Fire TV Stick 4K. So before doing this, make sure that you install Kodi MX Player or another video player so you can launch these titles from within this application. Now one other cool thing that you can do, which is directly through Kodi, I'm going to back out of Total Commander, go back to the Apps screen, move down, We'll go ahead and launch Kodi. And again, whenever you see the allow button, make sure you click that. Now I'm going to go down, hover over videos, move over and click the USB drive. You're going to see all of our movies here in this list. Now looking back, one thing I probably should have done when I was on the computer was to create a folder called movies and drop all of these into that folder. It's just easier to organize things that way. But what we can do here in Kodi is move up and click the two dots next to one another. That's going to move up one folder. So now we can see the storage partition. I'm going to highlight that. Hold down on the OK button of my remote for a few seconds. You're going to get this menu here. And now I'm going to click Set Content. This directory contains. I'm going to click that and change that to Movies. And I can leave everything else as default here. Move over and click OK. And then click yes. It's going to go out onto the internet and pull in all the information for those titles on the USB drive. And you'll see top right hand corner. It's currently importing all of that. Now I want to go back to the home screen of Kodi. You're now going to see all of the movies on the USB drive. And if I go ahead, long press the OK button we can click information it's going to give us all kinds of details about the movie that we can scroll through now if for some reason you ever do add additional movies to your usb drive or you remove movies from the usb drive you're going to want to go through the same process that we just did go to videos usb drive come back in here and now all you have to do is click scan for new content and it's going to update everything accordingly so there you have it hopefully this tutorial will help you expand the storage and use it effectively on your fire tv stick 4k thank you very much for watching this video and as i mentioned earlier you can find links to everything mentioned in the video description including access to the free troy point rapid app installer Please be sure to hit the thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel for many more tech tutorials like this in the future. Have fun with your loaded Fire TV Stick 4K.